Hey YouTube, I'm um, doing a video today on my uh, just review and how to rig the Berkeley Powerbait Chiricraw. So, I'm going to show you how to rig it and tell you what I think about it and uh, how it works and the techniques to use it. So, here we go. Okay. So, the things you're going to need is a fishing rod and a reel obviously you can need both those line I like to use a 14 pound mono or fluorocarbon preferably clear and then um, I use mine on 8th ounce bolt weight so you're going to need 8th ounce bolt weight um, and you're going to need a pair of scissors to rig them and this is just rigging right now 3 out hook I'm got to, and of course, Berkeley Cherry Club. I have the black and blue, four inch. You can use any, but um, for three inch, you'll probably use a one out or two out hook. So, and probably maybe a one sixteenth out, maybe, but probably still one eighth out. Wait, okay. So, you're gonna go ahead and put bolt weight on. And then, I tie this one line where you take, I tie this one knot where you take the line, make it into a loop. Works really good with braid, but I'm trying it with my own today. You can use just a regular, just pretty much any fishing knot. You take the loop, put it through the hook knot, I mean, the hook eye. Okay, this might not work. I don't know. I, don't, I really only, only use this knot with braid. And then, uh,. Yeah, screw up. I'm using the regular knot, the clinch knot, I think that's what it's called. And then you just put that through, fold it up like that, just twist around like five or six times. Then, see that loop at the bottom, put it through a loop, pull through. You, you, you can put it through. Um, the eye, the eye too, but I don't do that. So do that, and then pull it tight. You can use saliva; it works better if you if you lick the knot before you tie it. Then you can cut up. Um, if the tag is long like this, you could probably leave, but you don't want to make it less than like a quarter of an inch, just for safe backup. Well, you could, but you could make it smaller, but. You always want to have some backup. Yeah, that was probably too short. Okay. Get him out here. Okay, then these things. You can break them by like those things. You can break them, but I like to get a clean, nice cut. See that? Because you don't want that on your bait. Take both of them off, make it clean. Then there's eyes on one side, that's the top. Well, it doesn't matter. The Base the body is both the same on each side except the eyes, and then you go through about a half an inch or a third of an inch, probably pull through like that. When you get up to the top, there turn the hook around, twist it, then 
you want to mark where that back of the hook is right there put your thumb there go down to where that end of the hook was put that right through make sure it's even and there you go now if you want to completely wheelless you push the end of the hook into the top of the bait and that's how you rig it now fishing what you want to do I have a video on fishing with trigger claws I caught a little pike like 20 inch 22 maybe then uh, you wanna what you wanna do and there's a bass all year video on the net bait pack crawl that's a very good video for showing you how to do it I'll probably show you one of these videos but you, what you wanna do is cast out lower your rod tip and just twitch it like three or four times pull it to the side like three four times and then just wait like two or three seconds and just keep doing that around structures it works good weeds basically any sort of structure or hiding from the sun or uh, what do you call it uh, ambush spots that the fish will be by you want to flip into there you can flip these very good too and then once you get that done Um, you, so once so you just do that and lots of good fish works really good in the spring and the fall works all year but when other stuff isn't working it's really good like in the fall and it's like November and it's like 40 degrees out I got a video of me fishing with 40 degrees out it's called I don't know what it's called it's like fishing with chicka cross or something with Berkeley uh, chicka cross if you just type in um, Berkeley Par Berkeley Chicken Cross, the video shows up. So you can search that, and then uh, so you fish it like that, and it's really good. So well, that's what you want to do, and then um, the really good bait. I've been catching a shitload of fish. I caught. I went out November fourteenth. It was forty three degrees out. There was a little bit of ice on the edge of the lake, and uh, and sorry about that. That's my cat. And then uh, I was just doing that thing. You just pull up to the right. That I learned from bass all year. And then uh, from Connor, and and then I caught ten bass, ten or eleven. I don't know. Caught a lot. No. No, I caught 10 fish total, 8 bass, 2 pike. One of the pike is on video, on that video that I was talking about. And then, um, it was freaking cold and windy as hell, 25 mile power wind, and still caught a lot of fish. So you, you just, you, when fishing is tough, you can't give up and just, you gotta try different baits with this burger jig rod, very successful. And that's, really good bait and it's spawning se um, spawning season like May up in up Illinois here like in May and June early, early June mid June good times use this by weeds and on fish beds with this you get really good fish and that'll be all and thanks for watching I'm gonna make a fishing video probably tomorrow like 8 in the morning, like me fishing with the Berkeley Chicken Craw, the black and blue, this one. So, thank you for watching and check out my next video, and that'll be it. So, see ya.